Hey guys. Good morning. I'm on my way to San Beda. Uh, it's already 10 minutes before 9. And it's our uh, duty in the Legal Aid Bureau. Yeah. So, sa mga gusto mo katulong dyan, sa ibang tao, lalo na sa mga nangangailangan, you take law. Because the revised rules of uh, student practice already allows uh, second year students to uh, render help or legal help to indigent clients. Of course, with the supervision of uh, the head of your uh, bureau or a supervising authority accredited by the Supreme Court. Oh, diba? Nice. It's really nice. Okay, so, uh, I have uh, 10 minutes before I reach the school. So, maybe I'll talk about maybe three things. Uh, three things to do in law school. Yeah. Alright. So, three things <laughs> to do in law school. Ayan. So, lalo yung mga first year dyan. Kailangan nyo yan. Okay. So, number one. Number one. Uh, very important. Is to make good relationship. Do not make fights. Make good relationship with your classmates, with your professors. Uh, most especially your classmates. Because uh, in one way or another, may mauuna, may madidelay, but many of you will become lawyers. So, the legal world is said to be a very small uh, uh, group of people. Diba? So, there are very, very few lawyers, I mean. So, they say that the legal world is very small. And if you happen to have uh, fights with your uh, classmates, your batchmates, that's not good for you. Also, ang maganda pa sa kaibigan mo lahat is that you get uh, intels. We call it intels, no? So, kung ano yung mga natanong sa unang class, tapos kayo yung susunod, you get some information in advance. And then, kaya pagkaibigan kayo sa mga upper years because they have information about your professors or even samplex na makakatulong sa inyo. Meron kasi samplex na available doon sa yeah, mga photocopy centers near your uh, campus. Pero meron talaga mga samplex na reserved lang ng mga ibang students sa friends nila. So, it's really helpful. Hindi kasi lahat makukuha mo publicly. So, you make friends. You make friends. Friendship is very important in those school. And besides... As I've said in my other videos, uh, one of the best things that you get in law school eh yung mga pagkakaibigan na talagang totoo. Talagang hindi kayo magkakalimutan. And that's, that's I think, one of the greatest gifts in law school. Ayun. So, minsan naman, syempre, may nakakainisan ka, ganito, ganyan. Syempre, test na ng ano mo yun. Patience and your maturity. So that's number one. Make good relationships with your classmates, batchmates, upper years, and even lower years. And build up good what? <laughs> they call it karma. I call it investment. You help the lower years because it's as if, you know, because uh, I believe that what you give out you receive back whether you like it or not. So if you happen to help other students, batchmates, or even higher years, lalo pag bar, 
and then yung mga lower years kapag ka orientation and then you help them cope up with law school and then you give them some materials it's good it's really good they're gonna love you they're gonna like you but at the same time but at the same time you will reap benefit parang magic na yung mga good deeds mo pumabalik sa'yo and I think that is really really important in law school do not be selfish don't don't uh, uh, compete with your classmates in a very uh, destructive way a healthy lang healthy lang healthy competition pero actually ang style ko eh, hindi ako nakipag-compete sa iba I, I just uh, always try to do my best lang sa akin lang hindi ko, don't compare yourself to others kasi iba yung journey mo sa journey nila although you're both law students you have different styles kasi of learning di ba? and approach in life so don't don't compare yourself with with others no all right so number two number two <laughs> number two the second thing that you must do in law school or dito tayo sa recitation recitation is in san beda is one of the ano no uh, wait up Recitation in San Beda is, uh, sabi nga nung some beauty queen, major, major. <laughs> because uh, it comprises sa finals, no? One, final final grade. It's one third of our grade. So midterms plus your final recitation and then your final exam. So it's really major. So sometimes you get to only have one recitation for the entire entire semester even or entire uh, term so dalawa meron kang isa sa midterm meron kang isa sa finals minsan nangyari yun so talagang one time big time but anyway hindi naman lagi ganun okay pero ang style pagka nagre-recite ka eto napansin ko ha uh, don't be shy alright so if you're going to recite kailangan supercharge yung recitation mo. Whether you know the answer or not. Whether you know the answer or not. Don't show your fear. And don't show that you are intimidated. They say that law professors smell your fear. Huh? So if if they smell your fear, ay talaga mapapansin mo parang lalong kang bubulihin. So, Maybe uh, one good thing is that I entered law school. Medyo ano na ako, um, titos of Manila na. <laughs> so uh, shyness in recitation has never been an ingredient of of my recitation. It has never been. If you're confident, whether you exactly know the answer or not, napansin ko na merong uh, premium yun. It's because you are seen or you are assessed not just with your knowledge but also your character. You see, you're talking with lawyers, judges, justices who are also your professors. And they know who is promising and they know who is not. A good lawyer is you know, is not particularly a shy person because if you are a lawyer you deal with people so if you show that you have this confidence and you can argue your answers logically and then of course dahil you make your advanced readings you focus on legal principles that is why dun sa ating group case digest you you, you I look, uh, I, I see to it that some, uh, I share from time to time mga Latin maxims na useful for uh, law students. Latin maxims are not just like Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter magical words. No, they are based uh, sa Roman law and age-old legal principle, 
principles principles na hanggang ngayon ay um, sinusunod natin because actually hindi naman talaga nagbabago ang ang mga legal principles especially in uh, civil law in criminal law halos hindi kung may magbabago man konting-konti lang yung mga doctrines lang sa pag-interpret ng mga provisions but really the general doctrines that you learn in statutory, statutory construction <laughs> are really um, helpful because if you do not know the answer you can always dig in from uh, uh, dig out pala from the legal uh, principles that you've learned in uh, statutory construction. O yan ah, nagda-drive ako, kaya <laughs> o yan, naranasan ko na yung mapagbaligtad yung PNF sa recitation ha, pero naitawid natin yan. Tatawid mong ganyan. And, uh, oh, don't forget to smile. Smile, ha? Uh, coupled with your um, uh, confidence, you smile. Not naman the entire recitation. When you're cold, hindi siya po lang ang card. Yeah, and then you're called Mr. Gozon yeah. you stand up if uh, the professor is a judge or justice commissioner or in the government they particularly like courteous people who doesn't like courteous people diba? be respectful so what I say is I stand up I smile and then I greet the the judge or justice uh, good evening justice good afternoon judge and then they will respond back to you because that's how they do it in the government may premium yon because they can see that you are um, not just there to recite but you are also there to respect them to show your, your respect and admiration to your professor alright so that's number two huh? be confident smile but it should be a sincere smile. And your admiration sa iyong professor I should be real. Ako ay research their accomplishments. And then I muse upon these accomplishments. At talaga nabibili ba ako sa kanila? And when I look at them, and when I enter their class, at talagang I enter the class as a fan. Fanboy ako eh. Minsan, ano, Kikiligin ka pa sa, sa achievements ng professor mo. So, uh, for me, that's very important. Okay. So, number three. Ano pa ba dapat gawin? Number three. Okay. So, ano kasi number one natin? Make good relationship. Or relationships. In uh, law school. Number two. Be confident. You smile. O ano yung number three? Number three is Ito ha You always make sure That you've read The cases First Okay <laughs> Paano pag wala ng time? Ado na papasok yung Hindi ko sinasuggest Pero kung talagang wala ng time 80 to 100 ang cases ninyo and then wala ka pang recitation and then naka assign yung yung cases na yan digest hanap ka ng digest you look at the 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 gist of uh, each case case because pag natanong sa iyo yan all right for example uh, uh mr so and so what is the case of people for versus harige in criminal law also para ano yung harige right so dapat meron kang keywords people versus harige o ito yung babaeng binastos nung victim tapos pagdating dun sa simbahan sinaksak niya patay o di ba so you have already that case di ba o what is the case of people versus henosa isip ka na henosa o Keyword lang, battered woman. Si Henosa, yung binubugbog ng asawa. Ayun, napatay niya yung, yung asawa niya. O, di meron ka ng keyword. Ganun lang. Ngayon. Okay. 
So, meron ka ng keyword sa bawat case. Pag may keywords ka na sa bawat case, pag natanong sa iyo yun, at nasabi mo yung some facts, issues and ruling, hindi mo man makukuha yung perfect score, dahil hindi mo nabasa yung full text, meron kang partial points. Hindi yun bababa ng 75. Kasi nakasagot ka eh. Alright? Pero syempre, mag-ano kayo, um, maybe in your group, mag-subscribe kayo sa SCRA. Ayan. Meron ang UP uh, Porsche Society or sorority ng sale. Right? 699 lang yata yung SCRA. Electronic Supreme Court Annotated. Maganda. It's very good. I recommend it. So, dapat na mabasa nyo yan. Nakikita nyo doon yung syllabus, yung same-same. Ayan. You read those first so that you ready your mind as to what is the gist of the, 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 the facts. You can get the idea from the ruling. Kasi nakasaan, naka-quote doon yung, yung mga pertinent parts ng Supreme Court decision doon sa SCRA na hindi nyo makikita if you just read uh, na hindi available sa ordinary uh, sources. Alright? So, kasi pa nakita mo yung decision agad and then kikwento na yung Supreme Court. But if you use SCRA, what's good with SCRA is that naka, naka bullet na. O bullet, is that what you call it? Or nakasilabos na kung ano yung ruling ng Supreme Court doon. And categorized in subjects. So maganda yun. Alright? So, okay. So number three is to read the cases. And if you cannot read the cases, ito hawak na sa patalim. <laughs> you read the digest. And then you make a, a good summary of each. Ayan, kalang red light. <laughs> Ayan, you make a good summary of each. And then you will be able to uh, answer kahit na hindi mo nabasa yung buong full text. Pero kailangan habulin mo yun. Kasi mahalaga makabasa ng full text. When I was in first year, lahat ng cases talaga nabasa ko. That's why right now in uh, fourth year, they'll review subjects na yan, nag-spark na lang, ah, yan yun, ah, yan yun, you can remember it. So it's a good investment. So alright, malabit na ako sa Embeda. I hope you apply the three things that I told you. And di ko alam kung i-edit ko ito, parang hindi, hindi ako masyado marunong mag-edit. Pero I'll try to make it uh, shorter. Pero, those three things are very important, ha? If you keep those in mind, and if you foster those three uh, important things in law school, you will be able to make, number one, good relationship. You will have good grades. And, of course, uh, importantly, you don't lose your self-confidence. Napakahalaga niyan. Hindi dapat mawala yung self-confidence mo. Then, magiging abogado ka, And then, if you apply those, law school will be very exciting. You will get to enjoy each and every part of it. And then, don't forget, of course, siguro number four to, eh, pero, pero ipatong na lang natin sa three most important is you you always uh, expect that good things are going to happen to you. There is a magic in that. You always have a good, positive attitude. Uh, positive mindset. Alright? So, ito na. Malapit na ako. <laughs> Bye-bye. Nandun na yung Malacanang. Malapit na ako. Okay. Uh, see you soon, guys. Thank you. And God bless you. Do not forget to like and subscribe and share the video. I love you all. Bye-bye.